So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently here at Okada Manila and I'd like to thank everyone at Suzuki Auto Philippines for inviting me for the launching of this all new Suzuki Jimny. So basically this Jimny is an extended version of the Jimny 3-door which is the most popular Suzuki model at the moment. Suzuki decided to bring this uh, here in the Philippines to further up the ante by introducing this new Jimny 5-door model. Yes, everything here is now longer proportion than of course the 3-door model. So neat and great. Uh, everything's mostly the same from the from here all the way to this B pillar but from the rest up to the rear of this vehicle is completely brand new. By the way, this specific Jimny is a Jimny Hub Concept Edition. Of course, by the time already been sold for quite some time, they'll probably introduce like what they did to the trader with a lot of modifications here and there. Camping outdoor setup as well for this uh, Jimny Hub uh, concept. So on the front of this, this still has the uh, iconic 5 slot for the grill along with chroma access. This specific uh, Jimny Hub model has a nice vintage design here for the grill. LED lights all around as well for the manual uh, model but the manual model is not equipped with uh, auto leveling for the headlamps. Now you get 15 inch alloy wheels but still like with the trader Jimny you get this brakes up front and drum brakes at the rear. And to tell the differences between both this automatic model and the manual transmission variant, this one gets body colored door handles compared to the blacked out of the uh, manual transmission. So, buying this uh, all new Jimny, well, nothing's changed really. Well, it's still the same like with the three door, but I'll still show you. There we go. Still as minute as ever is powered by one and a half liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine with 102 horsepower and 141 newton meters of torque exactly the same like with the t-door model and as well the same transmission choices too this one specifically is mated to four speed automatic transmission and the other has a five speed manual transmission so i've done reviews for both the t-door models both automatic and the manual model check those out on my channel this is the biggest talking point now with this Jimny. Everything is longer than usual. Now, like with that of a uh, Jeep Wrangler or a Mercedes G Wagon. Now, you can say that properly, unlike with the uh, three door Jimny model. And very weird now seeing a Jimny with extra doors here at the rear. So, more on the interior again later on. And there are three variants too available for this uh, Suzuki Jimny. And this is one of the top of the line models because this is equipped with a two tone paint job. And here now at the rear of this Jimny, apologies for all of the background noise uh, here at Okada. It's a very nice place here. This is literally the first time I, I've been here. Again, I would like to thank Suzuki Philippines for inviting me here. This is one of the most beautiful places here in Metro Manila. Correct me if I'm wrong. So anyway, back with this Jimny. Again, like uh, with the three-door variant, you got bottom taillights and signal lights. Entire year along with your spare tire is exactly the same. Being this specific uh, Jimny hub special, you get a ladder here along to with an extra LED light here. So open this boot up now. Now this is where things get a lot more different. No, like no joke you could, that's all it can go. So no joke you could not do this before in a Suzuki Jimny. I can sit down comfortably here uh, in the boot now. So and if it was the uh, three door model, everything's, I can't even sit here totally. And you cannot fit bugs here whatsoever. And this is probably what will be the biggest selling point of this Jimny XL. Because yet again, you have extra doors and you get the practicality now of a traditional SUV. So total space here is around 211 liters. And few toys here in the back, you got a halogen light and a 12 volt socket. And then underneath, since the spare tire is located here on the rear door, all of your tire repair kit and wrenches are stored here underneath. And that's pretty much it. And biggest surprise now with this Jimny XL. So... Okay, this won't be accurate, sorry. Since, ah, there you go. There's still a very big hump here like with the three-door. But the total space now is 1,113 liters. Which is way, way better than the 845 liter like that of the three-door. And as well, like uh, with the three-door, even though this is a bit bigger. This Jimny XL five-door is still so small, I can fold down the rear seats like that with ease. So that's about it with the engine, the exterior, and the boot, very big boot of this Jimny XL. Let's check out the interior. So this is the interior of the all-new Suzuki Jimny five-door. So here the door card looks exactly the same like the three-door. And then visually overall here in the interior for both 
this automatic and manual transmission models looks exactly the same but with just few minute changes which the Eagle Eye viewer can only spot so the only thing I can spot uh, that's brand new compared with the three doors for this automatic variant this one gets a nine inch infotainment system equipped with apple carplay and android auto same too with the manual transmission variant but that gets a smaller seven inch infotainment system but hey at least there still is and going back to the engine i'm very curious now since this is the same uh engine like with the three door and now this being the extended with extra doors and larger boot space and longer wheelbase too let's not forget i'm very keen uh with the performance of this and with this fuel efficiency as uh, Suzuki Philippines stated this still has the efficient K15B engine so we'll know again in the future so back here in the dashboard so unlike two with the Tidor if not mistaken here on the left side you get a lot more buttons now so you get leveling for your headlamps uh, washer fluid for the headlights parking sensors and side mirror adjustments so I did not see that and I did not see that present in the uh, three-door model. In the steering wheel, looks exactly the same. Steering is leatherette, more on the durable side of things, but still nice to the touch. And then you get your volume and phone connectivity buttons all here on the left side, even up to the bottom. And on the right side, you get your cruise control functions, which is, again, a standard in all Jimny models. But annoying, there's just two blanks over here, but I'm willing to forgive it. And trademark here for all Jimnys, you have two very large bezels. Again, they're illuminated in orange with a small digital screen right in the middle and then here on the right side of the dashboard again you get the grab handle and then glove box okay pretty much the same and then here in the middle this is where you can spot again both differences between the auto and the manual brand this automatic variant gets an automatic climate control meanwhile well, the manual gets manual controls so I one thing I did spot uh, we don't have the key by the way so I'm not sure if this one in the middle is a screen or it's just completely blank again we'll know in the future and like with the Tudor Jimny further down you get your window switch functions heel descent control electronic stability control and then way further down you get USB port 12 volt socket and a cubby space down below so I checked out the manual transmission variant of course both gear shifts are pretty much different that's a dead giveaway again the manual has a notchy type feeling but again I've driven a Jimny manual very much easy and I kind of miss driving that car too Suzuki PH baka naman let me drive <laughs> anyways so I did notice for both variants the cubby space is quite different so the one here in the automatic is much larger than the manual and as well for this Jimny hub concept uh, this is equipped with cup holders right in front of the air conditioning and two I'm not sure if this comes with the Jimny Hub Special in the future, but we will know. And here further behind, you get your extra gear lever for your too high for high and for low, basically your off-road functions. And then further behind, there's a lot more changes now. So you get a manual handbrake still, but you get your locking for the windows and window switches here now too for the rear door. So this part looks very similar like with that of the Suzuki Celerio. And then above here, I think pretty much the same. You get your halogen lights, sun visors with vanity mirrors on either side. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit useless because it doesn't extend all the way here. But anyway, that's a give and take already. So wait, just making sure. I had five wines and two sanding, so pretty high. <laughs> anyway, so as well, like with all Jimny's, the seats here are all fabric yet again, but still uh, very soft. Uh, to sit in and very still very comfortable and of course being a heavy off-roader this will be pretty much easy to in, uh, to maintain so that's about here in front of this uh, Suzuki Jimny so these are the rear seats of the Jimny I could even demo this in the three-door version for obvious reasons so this is weird saying now here in the door card yes it's all blank yet again but an additional window switch here now on the rear door so I'm surprised unlike with the Celerio which I thought it would be only controlled here in the center and again in the center uh, you have two cup holders over here and yeah very weird uh, having an extra door in here now being a uh, Jimny and they, actually this one sounds pretty good too with the door tuds uh, compared to like the ones in front the front ones uh, sound exactly the same like with the Jimny three door and as well illuminating my uh, pimply face you get a dome light over here and now space in the back now I could demo this too feet room, knee room and head room is alright it's pretty decent but again I'll take this any day compared with the uh, three door model so here in the rear seats okay pretty basic it's kind of like a 2 plus 2 setup but if 
I sit here in the middle, okay, pretty much doable. The transmission tunnel is pretty high, but you can put your feet up. It's, I mean, it's that wide anyways. And then sitting here in the middle is just a little bit softer than in the left and right side of the seats. As well for the creation of this Jimny Hub special. Uh, special thanks to Rugged Riggs and to Sir John. They're the ones who collaborated with Suzuki Philippines to dress up all of these uh, Suzuki Jimny. So again, hit them up in, in the future if you want your Suzuki Jimny XL to be dressed up like this. And as well, of course, with the T-Door model. And actually, not much going on here in the... Uh, second row but way better than the three-door model so for the cost of all of this so this one starts at 1.5 million pesos for the manual transmission and it tops out at 1.7 million pesos for this automatic two-tone model but again you may contact our uh, rugged rigs and surgeon for if you want to know how much it, this will all cost for this uh, Jimny hub special so yeah that concludes my walk around review here uh, for this uh, Jimny XL model so I'd like to thank everyone here again to Miss Sang and to Suzuki Auto Philippines here at Okada Manila for the grand launch of this Jimny. I cannot thank you more than enough for making this all possible and again being a first time you're here in Okada this is uh, just, well, one of the most special places here in the Philippines so hope you guys like and subscribe and hopefully in the future I will test the both of this automatic variant and the manual transmission variant bye bye